Gemini's, welcome. It's your end of December 2021. Love, romance, and relationship reading. This is the heart spread. Eight cards in the shape of a heart. I've already set it up here. I do include the bottom of the deck. This uh, reading is for the one that you just can't get out of your head. So we have you here in the number one position. And we have this other person that you can't get out of your head over here in the number two position. Um, you're coming in with the seven of cups and they're coming in with the uh, nine of cups. This is a really complex reading. I looked at it a minute. I think uh, the one thing I have to keep reminding myself, this is not necessarily someone that you've ever been in a relationship with. Probably not someone you're in a relationship with now. This is the person you can't get off of your mind. This is the reading, to be clear, you're happily married, but there's still this person that you can't get off of your mind. Think about them sometimes. And I just think there's meaning uh, in all relationships. And in this one particularly, um, if we have this some, someone stuck, in anything stuck in our heads, particularly a person. So it's interesting that you both have these uh, seven and six of cups. Um, I, I get the feeling that at one point you, you probably were six of cups too. Let me put it like that. Because your person, this is their energy of where their mind and heart is at in and around love and relationships, you know, in regards to you at some point. And they felt there was their soulmate connection. That, that's going to be a big component. I think probably you did too. Whereas the Seven of Cups now reflects more your astonishment, emotional turmoil, um, uncertainty, not knowing, emotionally uh, like the bottom fell out. Um, this is your energy towards them, the Empress, and this is uh, their energy towards you. Um, the hanged man here, uh, this is someone that is um, taking time out. It, probably they're not, they're in no contact. Probably they cut you off, they ghosted you. Uh, maybe they said, I don't want to see you. They just disappeared, something like this. Um, and the way you showed up for them was at the Empress. So. I would get the feeling with them probably they, they were involved with someone. Maybe you weren't. Maybe you were more available. I get the feeling, too, that in this relationship they said to you, Oh, my God, uh, you were my soulmate. And there was the feeling of knowing each other and uh, forever. And all of the soulmate energy that goes with that here. Um, it, I'd see you as being a very solid person. And, you know, you have the Queen of Pentacles coming underneath the Empress. Now, this is all your energy. But this is advice from Spirit in how to deal with this relationship. Now, here, it's a little different from a normal heart spread read because i got a feeling there's not exactly a relationship. But there is because something happened. It, it's always a soulmate. There was a soulmate. There's something that needs to be understood. But I think Spirit's kind of reminding you that other than emotionally, you know, in, with the feeling of loss, of wonder, of what happened, I, I've been there. I think I, I had someone who loved my life uh, at the time, and uh, like no other, and all of that, and the whole soulmate experience. And they said, I can't imagine living without you now that I know you exist. And then a few months later, they're, they're gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know? And, you, and you're left wondering emotionally in this kind of turmoil that I, like you still have the feelings. You still can't live without them have that feeling. Um, it did change for you, you know, but change for them. But you're being reminded that you're solid. You're able to take care of yourself and take care of other people. I mean, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, there's not much more solid energy in the deck here. Now, your person... They're being reminded here because this is the energy of how spirit advises them to deal with your relationship. And I, I don't know how to see that other than, yes, they came in feeling it was a soulmate connection. Yes, this person, you, Gemini, if there's a cross watcher, if you want to share this, um, this is your soulmate. This is your Ten of Cups person. Um, so I'm not sure whether they checked out. Um, it appears that way, uh, or not really sure why they checked out. Let me just, uh, you know, on the bottom of the decks, I do figure you have the devil energy. 
So why well, wonder if they're not in some kind of relationship when you guys met or or now if it's ongoing and there's that something there that's going on. Uh, maybe they're trying to burn a candle at both ends. Um, there's something in the relationship that they felt was toxic for them. And I don't really see where it's you. I think that the relationship was toxic for them because they were like committed elsewhere and maybe they had an affair and they decided um, that they wanted to um, take some time out. It really doesn't show that they're out. It shows that they're taking time out. But their advice is you really are their Ten of Cups person. And this is the card, such a complex reading. This is what I call the most important card in the eight card heart spread reading because this is the position, this Ace of Pentacles there, so beautiful um, in this reading. And this is the Art Nouveau um, Tarot here, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Um, it certainly implies, you see the hand of God, you know, holding it up. And this is the advice for both of you, for the relationship as a whole. And I was ready to say, well, there's not a relationship here. I think they've kind of checked out. But it kind of implies to me that there's a chance um, that to make a new beginning. But with this uh, Ace of Pentacles, I mean, that's really a new beginning. That's uh, And that's everybody, because this is both of you, advice for both of you. And I, I see no reason why you're not already already in, I mean, all the way in. Uh, but they need to be all the way in. They need to understand that you are their Ten of Cups, and they need to really make a strong uh, commitment. Um, and so I don't even think you're at that place yet, you know? It's like they need to decide that, yes, you're the one. You are their, my Ten of Cups, and I'm going to make a dedicated uh, commitment to you. Now, what's really difficult is you have this uh, Five of Swords, about to say Seven of Swords. I think that would be better. But as an outcome, the Five of Swords, and, you know, swords are always air, Gemini, um, thoughts, communication, and this is, uh, they're looking at you. Um, I, I tell you, I get the feeling like they're going to communicate with you and they're going to be very angry. I mean, they're looking right at the Empress. Um, and I'm, I'm going to clarify because I kind of want to see uh, what uh, they're angry about here. Um, and the star card, wow. Hopes and dreams and wishes. This is clarifying your outcome with the seven of, uh, with the five of uh, swords. They, I don't think they can let go of you. It, they, they may be in this no contact zone, you know, that you haven't been emotionally connecting with them or even physically connecting with them. And when they get back to you, it's going to be something kind of angry. And it's going to be a really tough discussion that goes on. Um, and when I see the star here as the final outcome, once again, you know, uh, you're, the way you are when you're with them is you're the empress. That's got to be good. That's good. I mean, I can understand why you'd be drawn to them. You know, uh, if they make you feel like the empress, whether you're a man or woman, that's God love to feel like the empress. You know, that's a great energy. Um, so solid. And, you know, it, they just need to come back to you and talk to you. But I just feel like there's something they're angry about, but I really don't understand it. But I think what they're really angry about is whatever situation they're in, it's not a soulmate connection. It's not a Ten of Cups connection. And it's not their wishes. It's not their soul wish. And I think they realize that you are. And it's like I feel like they're coming back and kind of blaming you here. I get a little bit of immature energy with your person, with this hanged man. It's like the way you came in so solid and the way they withdrew. Um, and then the way they're coming back at you in this argumentative uh, manner. Um, so maybe this will get you some insight in how to deal with them. Uh, let me pull another clarifier on, on the outcome. We're talking about how to deal with them. Okay. All right, now we got the Eight of uh, Pentacles, the best worker card in the deck. Very personal energy. It's like th it's going to take work. That's what we're talking about here. Uh, they, they may come back at you and want to fight with you. 
and argue with you. And really what's going on is they do feel this connection with you. It's almost like they're fighting it somehow. And what's in store for the future is this could well be eight months here, time frame, um, is some process uh, where it's going to take work if you guys are going to get together. You know, and um, you being the empress, I mean, you can take probably this tongue lashing because I've got a feeling is un undeserved, but it will get them back into communication. And um, maybe the focus can become on the fact that you guys are soulmates and that there is a Ten of Cups connection here. Um, and it's just going to take this work. And this is both of you doing this work. So to me, it's, it'd be more about, are, are you willing to do that? You know, I think that you are. You obviously see the potential here with this person. And this, again, is very reassuring to me that there would be this solid, you know, what could come out of this argument is just uh, you guys talk and then you say, look, I hope you feel better now. You got that off your chest and don't ever talk to me like that again. But let's under, let's take this seriously and let's you know not lose each other and let's stay connected and see where this goes i think that's the way to handle this if you're really interested in this person um and you know let them kind of diffuse whatever's going on um and then settle in to do some work this is not going to be an easy relationship here um but you know you know we say things that aren't worthwhile um um, are the ones that are easy so with this uh, it looks like work I mean you got an ace of pentacles that's kind of a promise of work that's a promise of a commitment of a beginning and the eight of pentacles so I don't know I think that's a pretty good outcome it gives some hope uh, for this relationship and it does kind of imply to me that they they are going to get probably they're ghosting you probably they're out of contact been unavailable and I think they're going to get back to you. Mainly it hinged upon this Ace of Pentacles here. It almost looks like the Sun card, doesn't it? So thank you guys. Let me know what you think of that. I do appreciate your comments. I'd uh, love to hear what you have to say. And do hit a like. That helps a lot. That's pretty easy. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Appreciate it.